So if we imagine that we've you know, created some invoices, we've posted some payments, what we may want to do is reconcile that information against our bank account details to, to make sure that we're on track. Okay, so firstly, I'll show you how we set up our bank account. So we go into bank accounts on the system here. Probably should have explored this earlier on in the demonstration, seeing as a lot relates to bank accounts, but this is where we can enter initial uh, bank account details, um, as well as that um, posting group that I mentioned earlier on in, in one of our sessions to dictate um, where this is going to land on our chart of accounts. Okay. Now, the, the easiest thing to do is just to set up a bank statement service, click there and link to your online bank account. Now, system uses something called the Yodely Bank Feed Service, which will automatically pull through your bank account details so that you don't have to manually import the statements. Um, but word of warning, Yodely doesn't work with absolutely every bank account. So if you are at all concerned that your bank account might not sync for any reason, let us know and we'll do a bit of checking to, to see whether it does, okay? So the benefit of that is when we then go into bank account reconciliations, um, so let's go into cash management, bank account reconciliations. We've already got the statement information there. So let's let's imagine that we're doing a bank account reconciliation on a checking account, and apologies that you're not seeing any data here. It is a trial system. We'll have the bank statement lines here automatically pulled through from that live bank feed service and then we'll have bank account ledger entries as they display in business central but before we do that we've got to specify a date range so if we go into select lines we can then specify when we want to reconcile so a start and end time to carry out this reconciliation the next process is then to, to match so if we match automatically business central will look to that match or we can match manually if for whatever reason the system's got it wrong all we then need to do is post and mark that reconciliation is completed now if you are using online banking and i know we've had a look at um, the, the payment journals to register those payments but there is a way that we can kill two birds with one stone and we can actually register the payments and perform the bank account reconciliation at the same time this is done through what's called let's go into cash management our payment reconciliation journal this is a really handy facility, um, which will take our bank account uh, or bank statement lines and it will try and match to the information in Business Central that already exists. So instead of having to do everything separately, we can, as I say, do it, do it all at once. So as opposed to be manually lodging payments and manually lodging cash received, which we'll have a look at um, a, a bit later on, we can do it all from our bank account statement line. So here we've got match confidence saying that um, we've seen 1600 quid go out of the bank account. We think that matches to this invoice for first up consultants. Is that right? Um, so we've got a manual entry here um, that we've applied it to using a, a similar mechanism to when we're, we're using journal within the system as well so it's very easy to start using your bank statement lines to automatically start applying some of those payments okay all we then need to do is go into posting post payments and reconcile bank account we'll do those two steps that we've done manually or if you just want to post the payments only and do the bank account reconciliation separately um, you're more than welcome to do so so that's a, that's a really speedy way um, of registering payments and performing bank account reconciliations really quickly to order Dynamics 365 licenses or to sign up to a 30-day free trial, navigate to d365.link forward slash now.